Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to automate Airtable with the help of Pabli Connect. So as you know, Airtable is a cloud-based collaboration and database tool that combines the simplicity of a spreadsheet with the power of a database. It allows individuals and teams to create, manage and organize data in a flexible, user-friendly interface, making it a popular choice for project management, task tracking, content planning, CRM and more. So here, if you are a business owner and you want to streamline the process of your task management, data management and organizing of your data, then you can go for using Airtable for that. And by setting up a connection between your Airtable account and Pabli Connect, you can automate the entire process of synchronizing your data, transferring the data from Airtable towards any other application or automatically automating the process of data entry update, enhancing the task management and synchronizing the data in the real time. So here, if you want to automate all these processes, you are in the right place because I'm going to to show you step by step that how you can simply set up a connection between Airtable and Pabli Connect. As you know, Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to automate all the repetitive tasks without the requirement of any coding and programming skills simply by setting up the connections between our work applications. So here we are going to learn how to automate Airtable by connecting it inside Pabli Connect. We are on the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, you will find two option sign in and sign up for free so in case if you are already an existing user simply click on sign in to log into your account but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button to create your free new account also when you will do that you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations according to your choice now as an existing user i am going to click on sign in this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. It has taken us towards a dashboard of our Pabli Connect account. On this dashboard, we will be able to find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here on the same dashboard to save our workflow separately and accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we need to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box is appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So first of all, I'm going to give a name over here. Automate Airtable using Pabli Connect. After giving a name to my workflow, here I'm going to select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So you can see we have a list of folders over here. Among this, I want to select automations for Airtable as my folder. So my workflow will get saved in the folder which I've selected and then we will click on create. As we have done that, you can see a new screen is open in front of us, which contains two windows, trigger and action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles, or we can say these are the building blocks on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now here, let's suppose I'm going to take Airtable and trigger, for example. So I want that as soon as I'm going to add a new row in my Airtable account with some details, let's suppose here I've created a database for my social media post. And I want whenever I'm going to add the details of the post along with the image and the design ID, then automatically the response should be captured inside Pabli Connect. Based on that response, I want to create the post on my social media accounts. Okay, so let's suppose I'm going to take Airtable and trigger and Facebook pages in my action to create the post. When we are going to set up the connection between these applications, we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger commands. Because when the trigger happens, that means when the data is recorded inside Airtable, then only according to that data, the post will be created inside Facebook page, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger in action, let us quickly start connecting Airtable and Pabli Connect. So one more thing I have to tell you over here that you can use Airtable both the ways. If you want that whenever a new response is captured from Airtable, then you want to receive the response and share that response to any other application automatically, then you can go for adding Airtable as trigger in your workflow. But if you want that in case on the happening of a specific event inside any of the application, which you are using and you want to share that response automatically towards Airtable to create a record, then you can go for adding Airtable in action step. So according to your choice, you can use both the ways. But over here, I'm going to tell you both the methods step by step. First of all, I'm going to show you that how you can simply connect Airtable with Public Connect as trigger. And then I will also tell you that how you can use Airtable as action. So let's get started quickly here. First of all, because I'm going to show you how to use Airtable in trigger, we have to go towards our trigger step to start our workflow and we have to select our trigger application. And of course, our trigger application will be Airtable. 
you can see I am already logged into my account and this is my database social media post. Whenever I am going to insert a new data over here, then I want to capture the response automatically inside Pabli Connect. For that, we have to select our trigger event and trigger event is actually the event on the happening of which we want to receive the response. You can see we have list of events over here, new record, new or updated record, new record in view, new or updated record in view. So on the happening of whichever event you want to capture the response from Airtable, you have to select that. Let's suppose I want that whenever a new record will be created in my Airtable account, then I want to capture the response. So I've selected new record as my trigger event. And now we have to set up the connection between Airtable and Pabli Connect for which we are having a button connect. So let's click on this button. Over here to build this connection, we have two options, add new connection or select existing connection. In order to build this connection, I'm going to go with add new connection. And over here, I'm going to click on connect with Airtable. You have to keep in mind that you need to log into your account before setting up this connection so that it is going to make the connection easier. Now, Pabli Connect is requesting Airtable access. So we have to provide the access. For that, we have to select the base. For which base from your Airtable account, you want to provide the access to Pabli Connect. So here we have to click on this add base button. And you have to select the option all current and future bases and all current and future workspaces. So I will simply select that and I will click that means I have provided the access of all the bases and then I will click on grant access. As we have done that, here you can see that the authorization has become successful and the connection between Airtable and Pabli Connect is done. So now it is asking us the base name and the table name which you want to connect over here. So the name of my base over here is social media post and the table name is images from Canva. Okay, so here what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back towards Pabli Connect and here I'm going to select the base name that is social media post. And now we have to select the table name as well. So here the table name is images from Canva. I've selected that in a similar manner. You have to select your base and the table. And then you have to simply click on save and send test request button. But before that here it is given in the important note to capture the trigger response from the action new records. You will first need to create a field in your table schema with the field name created and set its field type as created time. So here to capture the response what we have to do we have to go towards our base and here in this table you have to add one more field and the field will be named Named as created time then when we are going to click on save and send test request button you will receive the response and over here one more thing I have to tell you that you can see 10 minutes is given in front of Airtable what does this mean this means that Airtable is based on 10 minutes of polling time polling time is the time which Pabli Connect is going to take for capturing new response every time so it is given over here that this trigger will check for new data in 10 minutes so because we have 10 minutes of polling time Pabli Connect is going to check the data every 10 minutes and whenever we are going to add a new row inside Airtable, the response for that row will be captured after 10 minutes over here in Pabli Connect, okay? Oh, so now here when we are going to click on save and send test request button, we are going to receive the response of the last data or the latest data which was entered inside our base. So here we have this data, Fox reading a book. This is the file name. Here we have the image and here we have the design ID. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to first of all create a new field which is given in the important note to capture the response by clicking on this add button and here we have to give the name to our field as created. So I'm going to simply give created as the name of the field. Then we have to select the field type that is given over here that we have to select created time. So I'm going to select created time. Okay, done. We'll click on create field. And you can see that the created time field is created over here. Here we have the date on which this particular data was recorded inside our Airtable. And here we have the time as well. So what we will do now when we are going to click on save and send test request button. Here you can see that the response is received. So in this response here we have the ID. Here we have the field image ID. Here you can see it is given that the width of the image is this and the height of the image is this. And here we have received the image URL as well. Along with this here we have received the file name, the size of the file, type of the file is image and JPG. And over here we have some other details as well. So all the details which were there in our Airtable database are captured inside Pabli Connect as it is. This means that our connection between Airtable and Pabli Connect is absolutely successful. This means whenever we are going to add a new row over here in our Airtable database, automatically after 10 minutes, the response will be captured inside Pabli Connect. Once you have set up this connection and the response will be captured, we will be able to automatically transfer that same response to any other application according to our choice. For that, we have to select the action applications which we require. Okay?
okay and we have to set up the connection between these applications so i hope you have understood how you have to set up the connection between airtable and pavli connect as trigger now we are going to move forward and i will tell you that how you have to add airtable in action for creating your automation so let's get started for that as well now in this scenario let's suppose that i am running a facebook lead ads for my real estate agency on my facebook page and i've also created a lead gen form for generating the leads for the same real estate agency with which i want that as soon as i'm going to receive a new lead by submission of that form then i want to record the details of that lead in my airtable database so i have created my database with some fields such as name of the lead email of the lead phone number city and type of property in which the person is interested in and on base of these fields only i have created a lead gen form and my objective is that whenever a lead is going to visit my ad campaign on my facebook page and they are going to submit the lead gen form according to the type of property in which they are interested in then i want to create a record of all these details of the lead in my airtable database for future purpose so that i will have a separate base of all my leads and for that i will not have to use any manual step automatically the record will be created so here for i am going to set up the connection between facebook lead ads and airtable where i'm going to use facebook lead ads in trigger and airtable in action so basically this is just a scenario which i'm going to show you in order to set up the connection between airtable and pavli connect as action okay but according to your requirements you can take any trigger application and you can use airtable in action so now here i have already captured the response from facebook lead ads this is my page named as prime properties on which i am running the ad campaign and here i have selected the lead gen form also i have received the response in this response here i have received all the details of the lead the type of property in which the lead is interested the name the last name of the lead the email address phone number the street address okay city state and the zip code along with this i have also received the date and time at which the lead is generated now my objective is to record these details in my airtable database for that i have to select the action application as airtable which i have already done and now we have to move towards selecting the action event so here we have a list of events you can see create record update record get all records get records and all other details so whichever event you want to perform you can simply select that in our scenario because i want that i want to create a record so i will simply select create record as my action event now to build the connection we will have to click on connect again and in order to build this connection once again we have to follow the same steps we have to click on connect with airtable and we have to provide the permission to public connect for accessing our airtable base in the similar method which we have used earlier in trigger so because the connection is simple and the same steps have to be followed so i'm going to go with existing connection only okay we'll click on save Now, as we have done that, the connection between Airtable and Pavli Connect is successfully built. What we have to do, we have to simply enter the details in these fields. So, first of all, we have to select the base name. The name of my base over here is Facebook Leads. So, I will simply select that over here. I will select Facebook Leads, and done. Then it is asking us the table name. So here we can have multiple tables. Currently, I only have one table with the name as table one. So it is already selected. Then what we have to do? We have to enter the details in these fields to create a record successfully. So it is asking us the name, email, phone number, city, type of property, all the fields which we have in our Airtable database. And as you know, we have received all these details already in our earlier response from Airtable database response. So what we will do? Instead of entering the data manually, we will simply map the data over here. Now mapping is inserting data from previous step. This is our previous step. Here we have all the details. So first of all, it is asking us the name, which is given over here. We have received the first name and the last name separately. So I will simply select first name. I will use a space, and then I will select the last name. So the name is mapped over here. Okay. So when we have mapped this name, it has become dynamic. That means with each and every new response, it is automatically going to replace. So now whenever a lead will be generated from Facebook lead ads in my scenario, automatically the details which I am going to map over here are going to replace with the new details of that new lead. in this way i'm going to automate the entire process instead of this when i'm going to enter the data manually then i will not be able to automate the entire process because that data will become static and then it is not going to replace therefore wherever we want that data should get replaced automatically in order to automate the process there we map the data in the similar manner as we have mapped the name we will map the email as well then we will map the phone number which we have received of the lead the city in which the lead resides is also received and the type of property that is the main concern so here i have mapped that as well then it is asking us enable type casting you can select true or false according to your choice we'll click on save and send test request button over here and here we have received the response here along with the response we have also received the record id that means the record is successfully created in our table that means the record of this lead is successfully created inside airtable so i'm going to take you towards airtable over here we can see that yes the record is created successfully here we have the name email phone number city and type everything is added systematically in the given fields 
this means that our connection between Facebook lead ads and Airtable is absolutely successful. So in the similar method here, I've just taken the example of Facebook lead ads, but you can use any other trigger application as well. And you can connect it very easily with Airtable as action. So these were the steps which you have to follow in order to connect Airtable with Pabli Connect to automate the repetitive process which are involved in creating and managing your data. I hope this video is helpful for you. Thank you for watching. Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.